Hey guys, Lone Hawk here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are continuing our Let's Play of SnowRunner. Uh, in the last part, we ended up getting a new truck. Um, to our disappointment, it wasn't an off-road truck. Uh, so, in today's episode, we are basically going to use our scout truck because we haven't taken it out for a while. And uh, we're going to go looking for a spare part and do a bit of uh, exploration up further to the north and get a watchtower as well. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as this does help me out a lot. Alright, so I do believe that this is our best scout truck. Um, just by its ratings, so we are going to take it out. Good old Chevy. Alright, so we are here. It's basically going to head up here. Get over here to the petrol station that he's still going for some weird reason. Over the bridge of nowhere. Down past here where the roadblock was. Over to there. And then I'm thinking somewhere about there-ish. We can hopefully cut across to here. But we will uh, see how that goes. And then after, I was going to head up to this watchtower over there. So let's begin. Let's see what kind of mischief we can get up to. Still have not yet checked how to turn those lights off. Um, but I think we will leave them. We will definitely turn on all range. Um, and I reckon as soon as we get to that petrol station, we will probably fill up. Uh, just try to keep on top of our fuel, as this does have a small fuel tank. Haven't had an issue with this vehicle uh, for running out of fuel, but as I have hopefully learned from my lessons, we should definitely try to avoid doing that. Um, in the back, as you may or may not have noticed, we do have some spare parts in there. Um, I don't think I've actually taken them out yet, so if we do get some damage, hopefully, in theory, they should be able to repair us, but um, we will find out. I kind of see the point of having spare parts as to repair you, but uh, yeah. So, can we go repair? Repair. Sweet, so we can. So we get 50 total overall repair. Okay, cool. So we might save them for the engine as that sort of seems to be um, what uh, causes us the biggest problems when it does get damaged. I don't really want to waste it on suspension. It, that doesn't seem to be something that we damage uh, particularly a lot, but um, you never know. It might be in this vehicle. All the fuel we can get. Get good old truck along. And we'll change into this view while we're just sort of driving along the uh, freeway, interstate, highway, road, whatever the hell it's called. But uh, there's definitely no consistency in it. It goes from a tarmac to dirt, back to tarmac, then to dirt. And it just does whatever the hell it likes. The dirt. Who built this place? What's our speed say? Is that what, 40, 45 miles an hour? We're getting up there. I don't know how fast that is in kilometers, which is the system that we use here in Australia. Um, yeah. I think it's about one and a half times. So if you're doing 40 miles, you're doing 60 kilometers, or thereabouts. It's probably not an accurate measurement, but uh, yeah. So we're doing about 60 kilometers. Um, which is not actually that fast. Um, that's sort of like a standard speed when you're driving around. Ooh, we definitely do a lot more damage. Oh, whoa. Ooh, almost went over. That was pretty close. Oh, I, I totally didn't even realize that there was a rear view mirror. It's like right there off to the corner of the screen, and I like just sort of looked over a bit and noticed it. Is it moving? Yeah, oh, it does stay there like it should. Very interesting. The things you miss when you're not paying any attention. Too focused on driving people, like I should be. Now, we want to try to go that away somehow. Maybe down here. Looks a bit more promising down here. Ooh. When I said promising, I, uh, by sure didn't mean real promising. Okay, maybe not. So we're we just driving through the bushes then. We hit something. I think we hit anything. Okay, not what I expected. 
Um, better be one hell of an upgrade path. Because it's in a very stupid spot. We'll just go through the tree. Have no time for going around. Ain't nobody got time for that. Cool. Okay. I would love to make speed be the reason we get across, but I don't think there's going to be anywhere where we can build up enough to be able to make it somewhat usable. So we're going to have to do the more sensible thing. Oh no, it looks like there's a relatively small sort of crossing area here. But with speed... Oh, okay, okay, that was actually really freaking easy. Um, I was so expecting to get bogged, but uh, we did not. That's good. What did we find today? An engine for... Okay, so for the fleet star. Okay, cool. Sweet, not bad at all. Okay, not what I really wanted, mud tires, preferably, but... Um, what can you do? So I reckon we're going to go there, and then there, and then somewhere to get there. And that should honestly be all of the map discovered. Um, there is one task that I've noticed that is like um, some sort of missing machinery or drill parts or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, so I'm hoping that by getting this last watchtower we might find that. Because that sort of leads us into one of the last missions that we can really do here. Um, all the contracts from what I had a quick look, except for one, all want to take us to a different map. So I'm not going to count them as part of Michigan in the sense that we have to leave here. I'm going to count them as more the other maps. So when we do decide to move on to a different map, if they're not part of whatever map we go to, then we won't necessarily get to them straight away. Obviously when we do go to their map, we will look at getting them then, um, but yeah, mainly so that we can move on. Like I think we've spent a, a fair while in Michigan. This is what part 25, I'm pretty sure. So we've spent, you know, 25 parts at 20-ish, sometimes more minutes. I think we need a change of scenery. Um, we've got a few half decent-ish kinds of vehicles. Um, so that should be good. I may do certain um, scouting style stuff or watchtowers and stuff, maybe off camera, um, leaving more um, the, the good stuff, or maybe cut cut a lot of this crap out. And like when we we get there, or we do like little crossings like that, or something make like a, a video that would normally be with the current way I've done it, say seven or eight videos, roll that all into one and just edit the absolute shit out of it. Cool. How the fuck do we get up there? Okay, I think we actually want to go the other way. We want to go that way. And then up there. And then there. Cool. Lucky I looked. What does it say? Oh, truck parking. Well, we don't want to park. We want to drive. Be free. Yeah, because uh, as much as I am sure my voice is music to certain people's ears, is probably get a tad bit bored listening to me ramble shit while we virtually drive nowhere. Um, plus, I haven't really done videos as of yet where I edit um, a lot of like the content out and make it more sort of full-on action-packed, like you guys have been along for the ride for the good and... Uh, more than often, the rather boring and shit. I have cut, obviously, some parts out of these where I get stuck purely to save time. Hopefully, like, I'm not going to have to do here. Ah, oh, sweet. This is so easy. I feel we finally got a vehicle that gets us somewhere. Fuck pain for it. Um, yeah, so that sort of will be something like that, um, as I do want to sort of get better at editing and realising the potential of certain clips and parts to that will make a, you know, a constant entertaining video so that I can do other series, maybe online series or, you know, stuff that does have rather large boring chunks, I guess, like this does, but 
this I still feel kind of works. Like I'm getting a, f a few views for a small YouTube channel starting out anyway. Um, that you guys are watching, I guess, because it's the game. It is, you know, slow runner or, or slow runner. Cool. So we have discovered stuff. But um, yeah. As I start growing, my videos should hopefully get better. If they go the other way, then I haven't achieved a lot. Alright, so we... Did we... Okay, so what do these people want? Okay, so you want us to do stuff. And how do we get there? You know what? Let's go and try to do these. Nope, I don't want to push in. Let's... Do I have to do the, the in order or the barrels? How do I kick them? Uh, Alright, oh, sweet. Well, we'll just go there because I don't bookmark that was pretty good of me. Okay, so we're gonna go to there. They might be a good time to visit at the same time that we're doing. Um, oh, they're timed. Okay. Oh, we skip the time ones as well. We see machinery. Ah, oh, so we found it. Oh, four spare drilling parts. So we haven't found the drilling parts. Maybe they're on like the back of one of these trailers or something. No, we don't want that. That one. Alright, so let's go there, there, and then there. And then we can head back to here. And Ooh, actually, I'm thinking, why don't we go that one, that one. That one, then that one, then down there, check out that trailer, down around here, down there, and then hopefully to this last one, down there. Now, this is going to be interesting, I feel, okay, so it's right up there on the rocks. Let's probably change time to daytime. Still not a fan of the nighttime. Um, at least not for filming. You, you can't see his fuck all. At least I think it's much harder to see, so we can just keep it daytime. Okay, this might not be too hard. I guess we just drive straight into him. Ooh, that was easy. I feel like there's something we're missing. Well, yeah, I've done it. Please don't tell me I have to get all the way there and start it and then go back. I think I actually do. Alright, uh, sweet. We will just basically continue straight down this road. Okay. Not good, not as planned, not uh, noticed. I know I did that near the start, I probably should have learnt. Ooh. Please roll back up to a side that's usable. Well, and the engine's stalled and we don't have a trailer. Cool, so we will go back to the garage then. Long walk ahead of us. And that plan has uh, definitely failed and we will obviously utilize this for something. Um, I am thinking do I drive all the way back up there not really I don't want to I would rather do the drainage missions so I'm thinking let's go let's go out here no, I'm gonna get rid of all that out there down there up there up to here and then somewhat over there where do we start the drainage missions? I start tracking. Okay, cool. So we've obviously already picked up the beginning of it, which is good. I should have remembered that. We'll see how this vehicle goes. It's lovely green paint. And then, yeah, obviously at some point we will slowly make our way back up to the top of the map and rescue our <laughs> truck. Damn Chevy truck. I knew something bad was going to come out of that. But this has mud ties too. So I'm hoping that 
yes it is less powerful it should still be able to get itself out of the same predicaments it might just be a bit shittier like up hills like it clearly looks like it is but stuff like this hopefully won't be too much of an issue even with the less power I'm hoping oh we don't even have all wheel drive on that's silly oh this has diff lock all the time I forgot about that so if this had an engine upgrade that would be nice I probably should have actually just checked if this had an engine upgrade because we did get that one and I, I totally forgot what it was for I don't believe I remember seeing Scout 800 on there I think it was a, a, an actual truck engine, like a full-size truck, not just a pickup. So it obviously wouldn't work on this. But she's going. Slowly. Okay, we might need the winch. No, not a attached trailer. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that'll get us out. Come on, get up out of that little bit of mud, there we go. So I don't know whether or not raising the vehicle would be good. Because like say the front diff or something's getting stuck. Obviously all the rest of the shit under the car. But yeah, we will definitely get up to this first drainage. See what sort of the, the go is with them. That feels like we are really close to rolling. I don't know what it is about this car, but it just, it feels like it really wants to roll. Um, which is not good, as we have rolled that other scout truck twice now. Um, I know we haven't rolled this drive in it, but I don't think we can be super reckless when it comes to anything that might get this thing on any kind of um, angle. Because, yeah, she's ready to roll over. Probably doesn't help having the shit all strapped down to the top. But, uh, yeah. Cool, so I also wonder that once we do drain these, like, swamp things, are we going to find something cool under them? Like, new vehicles? Or is it just going to be draining the water out? And that's it. Because that would really suck. I'd, I'd really like to find a new vehicle or something. I reckon that'd be good. Get something out of the lake. Or at least a part. A part would be amazing. Maybe that's where the missing... Ooh, the missing uh, machinery parts are. They're under one of these these lakes somewhere. Yeah, we well, got to get down there without rolling. We well, should, should be right. Ah, see, there is a vehicle out there. Is that what we get? We get that thing. That looks very much like our pickup. Okay. I don't recall seeing this on anything. It's like a, a mission, but it could very well be, and I've just missed it. But, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to use the trees to get over there. I think we're in a tad bit of deep water. We are also getting in crits. I don't want to cross like that either. Because that's going to put us really near the deep stuff. Can we go off of something else? Maybe that. I know it's not. Yeah, that'll light us up a bit better. Maybe to get a bit of grip. Oh. Um, okay. Is this incredibly Wait, that like towed us sideways. Okay. I don't quite know if that tactic will work. Um, I guess that's true. I think we should have come 
this way a bit more. What I was really hoping was that we'd be able to winch to like the vehicle. Can we pull ourselves around? That's just a lot of mud. Hmm. Well, I can see where we're going to go. Oh, okay. We need to get out of here quick. Okay. Not that way. But we do need to get out of here quick. <laughs> Alright, cool. We were taking damage. Wow, we have burned for a lot of fuel. Um, that obviously was not the plan. Now, how the hell do we get over there? I'm still thinking that tree might be our best bet. Can we go back? I don't think we can go much of any real way. Hmm, we've sort of done a bit of circling here. Haven't achieved much. Yeah, it's going to be really good probably for getting us off of there. But, um, yeah. What I might do is I might go ahead and skip the video till I do make it over to that truck. Hopefully, maybe, and the drainage pump. But uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we made it over here to the pump, but nothing happened. So I'm assuming we just need to find them all. Then maybe they would drain out these lakes or something. Or maybe it'll drain something into these lakes. But yeah, we also did find that drowned truck. So let's jump over to it. And okay, so we just meant to pull it out. Because it doesn't look like, yeah, it's not there. All right, cool. I will go ahead and uh, end the video here. So if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as this does help me out. And until next time, thanks for watching.